I started the brand back in 2015, but it wasn't serious, so I was serious in 2018. And that's when I started the brand, but I had a vision, I knew what I wanted to do with the brand. My name is Sharon Wenda, I'm 31 years old. I'm a jewelry designer based in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm the founder and creative director of Epica Jewelry, where we design and create bold contemporary, as you can see here, African pieces. So usually my creative process is different depending on the piece, the collection, and how I feel in the moment. So sometimes I will sketch, sometimes I will not sketch. I will have it down on paper like this. When I have an idea, so sketching it really helps playing around with colors because my brand is all about colors being bold and then I can start making the physical product after doing the sketch. For this particular collection, this was a sketch and this is the final product. This is all completely handmade of shells, cardboard and then we sprayed paint and then beads. So it's like we wanted to make something colorful, so something bold that represents the collection. That was the point of this whole collection. I guess as a cultural Asian organisation, we're really proud of this project, enabling young people to see each other's lives in, in the kind of complexity and nuance, but also ensuring that out of that comes opportunities for young people in the UK and Kenya. So finding people on the same path within their fashion journeys and getting them together and enabling them to work together has been a really exciting part of, of this programme. Creative DNA is a fashion programme supported by the British Council in Kenya, and um, we started in 2020 and the ambition really is to provide support for young fashion startups and to show that it's a professional choice for um, a lot of young people in Kenya. After a Creative DNA program in 2021, I was actually able to present my collection during London Fashion Week, but it was digital, so we presented a film. And after that film, we were featured in Vogue Italia, we were featured in Harper's Italia. So those are the type of opportunities that came with presenting our collection in London Fashion Week. And then this year, I was one of the seven designers chosen from all over Africa to go to and present our collection in London Fashion Week. Having been there physically was so valuable and rewarding because I was able to interact with key industry players in the London fashion industry and me understanding the market helps me grow my brand into the UK market. So I'm really happy about the program. It has had such a huge impact in my life, in my brand, and you can literally see it from how I started to where I am right now. We're excited about the future of the program because Creative Dini has demonstrated that it is a useful support program for young people to think about their careers in the fashion sector. The future for Creative Dini is really expanding the possibilities. Being able to work across the region, across Africa, um, increase the number of young people that we can work with, increase the visibility, and hopefully we can keep the support program running for years and years to come. My vision for the brand is to be the biggest jewelry brand in Africa and I feel like we're on the trajectory to be there, to also have physical stores not just here but all over the world. I believe by next year we'll be in Paris Fashion Week, we'll be in New York Fashion Week. I really believe we're on the trajectory to achieve all this in the next five years and I'm really excited about the future and I'm thankful for the British Council for offering me all these opportunities. <laughs>